recording was just died and didn't save this fit at all beginning but hello guys and welcome back so just so before I mean last episode we made all the steel and just to show you how long it took last episode I think we had like we weren't even triple digits with the first item on for finishing that face and now we're almost completely done but we have a problem we are running we've run out of power basically if because that max this is how much we make at max cons is how much consumption of all the machines we're running at once and that's not good so we need good better idea so I've unlocked this because it gave us inventory slots, a hand slots, and new fancy toy, and blueprints because this is fun to work around with. And we're going to unlock this now. But before I do that, I want to show you guys how you use the blueprints. So you have this blueprint signer just there which will place down somewhere and then you can place stuff in let's just because I want to make a fix, something like that then here you can save it and everything and I want to make something for the coal factory so by like hmm, if I um, where is it now? Organization down splitter. If I do something like that, actually, let me just put it there. Then we can have like line running to the next one we'll just stop it there for now and then since we have this new pipeline piece where is it now ah, I thought I locked it ah, um, anyway but yeah so there's right here so I'll make like a something for the pipes and that. Okay, let me get on with that and I'll get it right back. So <clears throat> just the one thing that I'm looking for to build this pipeline support because then they look nice top of there I need to unlock logistics in K3. So I'm gonna quickly do that grab some more materials and what else I need and then we can carry on so once again <laughs> let's get into this okay so over here you can see the design so it's three coal burners because that's all I can fit with splitters all connected and pipelines up top so, yeah so now once you bolt it, you can come here to the blueprint designer, name it Coal Power. Then let me just set an icon. Hmm. Okay. So there's multiple different icons you can choose from. From like parts and building parts, then towards the bottom. Oh, there, other. So you can make it funny little things like that. <coughs> Select image, and I'll make it black because it's cold. Then set direction. Edit. Add. Category. Yeah. Then I can rename it. So I'll put power. 
power add sub category there we go apply changes so now yeah then you save it and if you click here to clear everything disappears and it goes here <coughs> and then you just go to blueprint power and or what you have and look this is going to help with power plant or makeshift power plant so i got a few tickets to spare i might just let me just buy one because that's all i need here we go And there we go expanded infrastructure so we can put power storage but we don't have the stuff for it and then we can do these these are really fun so let's just put one like here and then so normal power line so this one's fun so at the top you can have connecting to other power lines and just I wonder if I can just run off in a direction so I can show you it hasn't even hit the limit wait there we go it's like somewhere over there so from there <coughs> all the way over there that is far compared to those so that's the one at the top so the one at the top can only be connected to these big power lines but the one at the bottom can connect to these so just hook it up to your power and yeah then you can climb up them so these ones have platforms because then once these are connected you can use this device yeah so i'm going to gather resources for this whole bunch so we can build across to the coal plant and grab some materials because i think yeah we have a like 120 yeah 120 miner so we'll be able to add eight more coal power plants doubling our are doubling it right now and this this is just with without overclocking anything so yeah this is going to be good so i guess let's get into it yeah okay i'll see you so there so i managed to get the power lines up we'll take a ride on him just now but looking at this area, I don't have that much space. Like, I guess I can put it here, but that's a bit close there. So, I think the only way is to expand. And if we don't have that much space up here, why don't we expand down there? Let's just... Go like this. Do another like three. Is this eight? Long. Oh, one more. Because <clears throat> mine is up there or close there. And with these blueprints. If I just rotate it the right way around, and come on, there, rotate these. Just check. 
Yo, this is quite nice. Oh. Can't I move this over? I think I missed. Only mind. Yeah. Because then you can split up the coal. Yeah. Before you have to. And then all I have to do is just add one more machine to each line. Or, yeah, each side. And the best part is if we did over. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna. Let me just actually. I'm just gonna redo some of this just so I can. Just want to move this over a bit, but okay. Let me just do this, hook them up, and then we can carry on. Okay, so here we have it. <laughs> I even made these pipes the black for to match, just for, so it's cool. Cool. So I've sorted out all the coal. It's going from a 220 line into 216 60 lines and then it's the exact same like them so I'm gonna let these fill up and now we gotta work on the water at least for this one I've got this piece of land up here that I can use um What's the easiest way? I'm just gonna plop down a lookout tower. Yeah. This seems like the easiest way. Or do I have walls? Yeah, I do. Nice. Just go up like four walls and then. I'll just build two so I can grab, hop on and then to there yeah so then we can just place one two hooking them up is not that hard just grab one of them line myself up yeah like there there because then if I am correct just, yeah I'll organize the pipes later but then these I just need was a two per row Or could I do one and one per because so I've got this here these are the slugs that used to make the more power power things the boosters that's it so if, yeah we use two each but just want to check um, it's about 200 each so yeah one of them I'll just overclock it will just save some it's just gonna save some resources yeah I think both two of the things are completed so in the next episode we'll get the third one up okay I'm gonna quickly just so I've got that one I need one two more but I'll line them up nicely and how you can do that is by wait what uh, anyway come on swim I think by yeah there that's right tight 
sir. So, there we are. Because now you can, yeah, you, know, you can place it down here, and then you can line it up. So I'm just going to do this for those few. Yeah, why not? Because I want to build like a proper coal processing plant here. But that I'll do when, when I have more resources, some better equipment. Yeah. Three. There we are. So if we just line it up and there we are. So this would be the one line. If I sorry. explain stuff so you guys also know how to do it okay if you so power shards allow you to boost it but if those up there take yeah because if if I worked it out properly it takes like yeah 50 50 each so I do need 200 and that's the exact same amount of water for the same power I believe so um, yeah so let me hook up these and then add the pumps and everything and then we can continue on as I connect this up we have connected up the power for the water they should start just now yeah they have started and we'll slowly see water coming in and the coal has gone in everywhere so yeah if Hurry up. Like, come on. There. That one's operational. This is should be like almost there. That one's going. Let's see. I'm just gonna wait a little bit and let everything go out. So I gave it a little bit of time and it looks like it's stable. Now yes. So that's like double power. So I think between the episodes I'm going to move all of these, all of those onto here. I'll make a bit more space for them. Just expand it or expand out. Those I'll move here. <coughs> Might even overclock some of these. Because then if I can shorten the line it might but for now it's fine as you can see the water slowly building up here we do have excess water but now for the fun part so every time I wanted to get here I would use this thing or just run here because this can connect to the wires and you can ride it but the short poles you would hit the pole and fall off and have to go I just made it through terrain because it was easy enough yeah so if I am correct I believe you can just ride it 
Yeah. And these I quite like. I didn't, when I first started playing, I didn't have these big power towers. They came in one of the later updates. So it also means like here, yeah, all of these ugly power lines from there to there, I can just hook up one of these two. It looks like I'm gonna crash. Yeah. That's also one of my fears. Let's just, then I can flip around. Let's check. Okay, it looks like you do ride. Nice. Because, like, traveling from one side of the map to the other, or just a distance like this, having things you can just hook onto and ride is quite nice. Ooh. Let's just check. Yes, it does work. I think it does get weird over here, where I I went up there because I couldn't reach this one, and then the wires went funny. Yeah. At least there's water here, but I might fix it. Let me just see if I can. Why did I build up to the sky? And of course it's too far. Just I'll run on foot. Yeah, so like these trees I'm gonna have to come and destroy so I can ride through here nicely. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, I clipped through some trees. But I'll just run. Yeah, and this thing can connect up to th three different poles. So like one from where the pole is going and then it can split off into two. So, like in the past where I would have my main base somewhere like here I would have base there base there base there and it would be these small little power lines and just cost so much Ooh, watch out for the tree okay and when I was going past this area I noticed it's quite rich with iron these this little area so I may, might change some parts make this an iron area because then we can expand the coal factories <sighs> yeah up there you can see the quick wire <laughs> being made into tickets <laughs> yeah like oh there's the old <laughs> some things you clean up in between episodes Then <laughs> jump. Yeah. And let's just see. So for the next phase, we do need that. Leave that to like. Oh, I forgot the name. But you need like pipe, metal pipes, and stuff automated wiring so yeah next episode we'll work on these and these this is nice for fast transports i know this is a decent way to do it this i uh, maybe we can do another time these few but yeah so this is going to be it for this episode i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next episode we will be working on automated wiring and finishing this phase. So, before we go, I believe the whole story behind this is we're like stuck here or something. Or, no, we're sent here to mine stuff and 
to gather resources and we must that's a space station we must send it to space or to satellite something like that so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye